Last week saw Anthony Albanese announcing our 28th Governor-General, Sam Mostyn, and she'll begin her time in the job on July 1. Ms Mostyn is a former press flack for Paul Keating and Labor government ministers who progressed her career into business and has served on several boards. She's headed up women's equality task forces for the current federal government and the former state Liberal government and chaired the Climate Council and Beyond Blue. She's credited with helping set up the AFL women's competition as the AFL's first female commissioner. Ms Mostyn has an impressive resume, although one coalition figure rather unkindly quipped to me on the weekend that the appointment should give political staffers hope everywhere that they can one day be Governor-General. Apparently the PM knew who he was appointing when he conducted this interview on Sunday Agenda with me in January. Are you considering an Indigenous person for the office of the Governor-General when David Hurley's replaced this year? Uh, I'm consulting with uh, the King as is appropriate and it's important that that proper process uh, be undertaken. Is it, uh, is it a possibility you could appoint uh, a Tom Carmer or a Linda Burney? That's well, I, I'm, I'm not going to go through. Uh, through options because then you get into uh, will it be a man, will it be a woman, who will it be? Uh, we'll consult with the palace, which is what our constitution requires. Now the PM believes Ms Mostyn is the sort of person he's never heard anyone say a bad word about and she's inclusive and a unifier. Anthony Albanese knows Ms Mostyn well but he regards her as an acquaintance rather than a friend. He was impressed by working with her in her role on the Transurban Board when he was Transport Minister and working on the F3 to M2 road project. The PM wanted to break the mould of often having military officers appointed to the role and have a candidate who reflected how Australia's changing. The appointment didn't have to go through Cabinet. The PM consulted senior ministers, but it was between him and the King. Here was the surprise announcement on Wednesday. I'm very honoured to announce that His Majesty the King has approved my recommendation to appoint Ms Samantha Mostyn AO as Australia's next Governor-General and the second woman to hold this highest of office. Sam Mostyn is an exceptional leader who represents the best of modern Australia. I'm deeply honoured by this great privilege and look forward to representing the values, hopes and aspirations of all Australians. I will never underestimate or take for granted the expectations that come with high office and I am ready to serve with integrity, compassion and respect. And here's the opposition leader Peter Dutton with a gentle backhander at the appointment. I acknowledge obviously uh, the Prime Minister's announcement this morning in relation to the Governor-General designate, uh, uh, somebody who's been involved in business and sport uh, for a long period of time. And, obviously is uh, well known to uh, many people within the government uh, over a long period of time and I wish her very best uh, in her appointment. And